Hello everyone, welcome back to our Tableau course. Today we are going to start our section number 3 where we are going to cover these many topics uh, which I have already listed here. So we will be starting with parameters, combines and sets and we will be moving towards filters and explore its types and then we will be covering sorting and then we will do hierarchies based reports and after that we will be moving to granularity to break the report down. So uh, we are first we are going to do parameter with the two ways like the parameters by filters and then parameter by sets so first we will understand what parameters are basically and why we need this so parameters are nothing but with the help of this we can actually uh, dynamically change the values uh, in our report or you know we can easily interact within the charts right so let's see and understand uh, what all can we do with the help of uh, parameters so what we will do basically i'm going to uh, take based on the customer country and uh, i want to see the top number of units sold as per the country so we will take the dimensions and i'll put it in column section then we will take the unit and in rows section right so let's sort this data in descending order now this is uh, how the data is all about in terms of uh, units uh, or number of souls as per the country. Now I'm going to create a parameter here with the help of filters. So what I'll do here customer uh, country which is uh, uh, the main parameter where on which we are going to apply. And now this pop-up window will generate and in this section uh, we will look uh, we will overlook all these but we will go to this top section and here I want to choose this option which is by field and under this by field uh, it's giving me already top 10 it's suggesting me right and this can be changed to any number as we want but I don't want to do this I want to create a parameter so user can actually dynamically change the values right so what uh, the moment we will click here we could able to see one more option uh, at the list which is create a new parameter so this is how we uh, create a parameter I'll uh, let me take it again uh, so you can actually see so what we will do after uh, publishing your uh, bar graph uh, you know with the para with the values whatever you are thinking of uh, or creating based on so what I'll do I'll uh, take the customer country then again uh, uh, the pop-up will window will generate after that I'll go to the top section where I'll choose this option by field now after that it will give me one option for creating a parameter so I'm going to choose this create a new parameter a new pop-up window will generate like this which will prompt or I will ask you to give a parameter name and it could be anything uh, so let's say I'm giving a name as uh, top top n let's say or anything okay so I have given this top end because uh, maybe it could be 5 or a 2 or a 3 or 10 so let it be top end now current value is 10 let it be like this so this is the minimum up to like how I want to go this is the threshold upper and a lower limit so this is going to be your upper limit so let it be uh, 20 or 15 as per your choice correct so the minimum it should uh, it will go up to the 1 and maximum it will go up to the 15 so just ok apply and here we go now the moment uh, we will do this we could actually able to see there is a one slider uh, which comes in a picture right so this is what basically we created if you can see the name top end this is the same name what we have given there and also uh, if I will scroll this up for a better view now here you can see one parameter which has just created by the name of top end this is what we just created right now user can slide it to look or you know to see the data this way and uh, also we can uh, change this and we can uh, basically uh, instead of slider we can uh, use this option which is type in so user can actually type the value instead of sliding um, using uh, instead of using the slider so if we can write 5 so we could able to see uh, the number what we are suggesting uh, to look in uh, report so this is uh, how we basically uh, uh, create the parameter with the help of filters right so now after this we are going to create uh, sets and uh, then we will uh, use uh, the parameter with the help of sets so sets are basically nothing but 
uh, these are the collections and uh, you know combinations of few or more elements uh, let's move to the other um, sheet which i have already named as parameter by sets now in this section i'm uh, gonna take the same values what we have already taken as a parameter filter so that i can actually uh, show you how we are going to uh, use sets uh, and parameters all together so now country uh, customers country then uh, i'm taking units sold so these are the number of units sold so i'll sort the data in descending order so now this is how the data is all about now what i'm going to do here is to create a new set so how to create a set as we have already covered this topic so uh, i'll go to the uh, dimension on which uh, we are working and for what we are going to create a sets now here you will see this option create and then choose this option sets so the pop up window will create it and just go to the top section out of it and again choose uh, by field option and here you will actually see uh, you know the parameter name which we have already created which is top n uh, now see look here so i want to create a set uh, with the help of a pa parameter which we have uh, already created uh, so i'm going to choose this option top n and then okay now here you can see we have successfully created the uh, set which is set 1 or let me take take it again so customer go to the create option then choose set now here you can give your uh, set numbers or uh, anything let's say my parameter or let's say parameter for country or let's say top counts mm, top counts or any name of your choice we are using this option top and we will take this uh, uh, we will choose this option which is by field and we'll look for uh, the parameter which we have already created which is top n and okay now here we have uh, our top counts so what we are going to do here first i'll uh, highlight this uh, option uh, so just click on this and show parameter control now the controller is here now we have uh, controller enabled uh, and what we will do uh, i'm going to put this set option in colors right now the the more you will actually slide uh, it will give you uh, uh, with the concepts of in and out where what we basically talking about so let it be uh, this much four so these are the top four among all these uh, uh, countries and uh, we will uh, put it let's say uh, 10 uh, so these are the 10 countries and likewise you can actually slide your slider as per the number uh, you want to see and also let me take the unit sold as in a label so where, where, where we actually can see the figures how they're performing so these are the top uh, countries which is good in uh, uh, selling units like uh, these are the good numbers in terms of unit and these are the company uh, countries which is performing good right so this is how we have successfully created the sets and the parameters uh, just a small recap uh, we created a top uh, n parameter with the help of filters uh, where we have used uh, let me take a slider or like this way where we can actually see the top uh, four or top top five or top seven uh, countries let me take this yeah so these are the figure but at the same time with the help of a set i could able to see the others also and i can compare how they are performing when i'm talking these are the top uh, countries in terms of number of unit souls so this way we can uh, easily create for any kind of a report or or, or any dimensions uh, if we want to see or if we want to compare at the same time dynamically and uh, the good part of this is like a user can actually interact at the same time right it doesn't require to go back and change the value so i hope you have understood this concept in our uh, upcoming lecture we will be covering combines uh, and sets though we have already discussed but yes uh, we will take it again as we are using parameters so there shouldn't be any confusion in this case right and then uh, uh, filters uh, we have, we somehow we got to know what the filters are but we will actually covering uh, you know the types of filters and effective ways of doing filtering your data so i hope you have enjoyed this session thank you very much